Back for the Future is really a collaboration between Nike, uh, the Michael J. Fox Foundation, and then other partners all coming together to try to create a future without Parkinson's disease. You know, we want the excitement people have for the shoe and the movie to translate into some positive action. And that means donating dollars and raising awareness, really getting involved. You know, Nike is uniquely suited to bring a project like this to life because we can bring together partners from all corners of pop culture. You know, the original creative team from Back to the Future, including Christopher Lloyd, played that wonderfully eccentric Doc Brown, uh, the Michael J. Fox Foundation, uh, eBay, uh, Facebook. Incredible response we've had and support from so many people. Well, this, this project is really exciting because it brings together three communities with a great passion. One is obviously the Parkinson's community that has a great passion for finding a cure for the, for the disease. And, and the other is the, the sneakerhead uh, constituency who are huge and love their sneakers and love their Nikes. And, and the other is Back to the Future fans who, who become, take it from me, pretty obsessive. And, and so to bring all three of them together in a, in a, in a, in a broader community that, that brings attention to Parkinson's and helps us raise money in our, in our our mission to, to cure the disease is just great, and we're, we're really thrilled that, that Nike did this and, and Universal, and, and, uh, and it's just an exciting thing, and I think it'll, it, it'll, it'll have a big impact. Right. Sergey, Brandon, and Ann Wojcicki have been incredibly generous to us uh, and, and have been big supporters of the foundation, I think $100 million to, to date. But they further uh, promised a, a matching contribution of up to $50 million through the end of 2012. So this is an opportunity to really capitalize on, on Nike's generosity and, and the support of, of, uh, of Back to Future fans and Nike fans and, and, and those who have an interest in the work of our foundation. Um, so it's, it's just really it's an exciting thing. And, and, and we encourage people to know that when they bid on the shoes, that whatever they bid, we're going to get twice that much. And, and that's just... So exciting. The Back to the Future trilogy just keeps rolling along. You know, <laughs> there's no end in sight. And it's just fun to participate in a film that's meant so much to so many people over so many generations. And uh, it's a delight. It's a delight to be here. The Nike mags came about because of a necessity that we had when we wrote the script for the second movie, because it starts 30 years in the future. So we went to Nike and we said, you know, what would a shoe look like 30 years in the future? And they came up with the Nike mags. I'm kind of subbing in for Marty McFly, as you say, and um, kind of giving it my flair a little bit. I was a big fan of. Back to the Futures, and I'm um, just honored to be a part of this. Marty was my inspiration for the backpack look. Um, he, you know, he's the guy I looked up to for fashion everything. So he's, so he's my guy. So, yeah, I took the backpacks from Marty. Oh, man, I... They told me what the idea was. I kind of said yes, like midway through. I was like, they made the shoes, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, yes, I don't need to hear anything else, yes. And then when they told me what it was for, I was, I was elated. Just, I mean, he's one of my heroes. But that's what I think of. I remember seeing that first movie and being, um, it was the first soundtrack. It was the first album I ever bought was the soundtrack. It really was, because Johnny B. Good, and it got me in, like, at the age of seven into, like, classic rock. Like, I was like, who's Chuck Berry, who, you know, Little Richard, all these things, and, like, um, and I wanted to be Michael J. Fox. We have a whole idea for introducing Marty McFly into the future. And one of, the way, one of the vehicles for that, of course, is to get him there in the DeLorean, but also 
um, have him uh, and wear some special futuristic apparel to kind of fit in once he got to the future. And, and so I was, uh, from the get-go, I, I was kind of, um, I guess you could say it was, a, it was an opportunity to think a little further out as a, as a, as a shoe designer. I'm like, how do they do that? That's been my thing forever. And then if we hear the commentary, it's like, no, he actually he almost got hit by a car. <laughs> I don't know what that means, sir. Where is he going? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, cut, great, great. Cut, cut. Uh, hey, hey. Hey. That last one was great. That was fun. Right there. This is I like the one when your glasses fell down. Yeah. 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 Before launch or after? After. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But I'm wrong. Okay. And action. How about this one? 
this. Power race. Oh no. Not till 2015. Until 2015. This is 2015. Actually, sir, it's 2011. Yeah, I'm just like. There it is. And action. Uh, good, good, okay. And let's now do version two. Eat shoes. I got these shoes. The way Apollo lays. No. Not until 2015. Not until 2015. This is 2015. And cut. Good. Cut. <laughs> tree and get out of here. There's fire in the parking lot, guys. Someone want to put out the fire in the parking lot? Anyone? Kevin, you want to go? Let me know when you want to start. And cut. Good. Yeah. Great. Good. Yeah, good one. Okay, one more for safety. Okay, we set this. That's just a crude one. It's a crude one, so we <laughs> got an idea of where to put put everything. Yeah, good. Okay, check the gate. And ladies and gentlemen, that's a, a big thank you, a very big thank you to Kevin. Let me introduce you to the future. Wow, man, this is heavy. Not heavy at all. It's actually quite light. Speaking of lights. I need shoes. Well, I got these right here. Does this power lace? Uh, not till 2015. Not till 2015. Sir. This is 2015. It's 2011, sir. Oh, great Scott. The timer circuits must have malfunctioned. <gasps> sir, look, where's he going? Whoa. He made like a tree and got out of here. 